Hey guys, Chris and Eddie here at my home in beautiful Thailand. It's a hot sunny day and I want to make this quick video for you. I wrote down this note uh, yesterday and I wanted to share it in a video. It's about not pretending to be something that you're not and this can apply in any way that you choose to apply it in your life. But I just want to, to read what I wrote on this uh, paper, read it for you guys. So I wrote, uh, the grass focuses on being grass and does well at being grass and does not try to be grass and a tree. Grass doesn't try to be two things. It was created to be grass. Grass, is, grass grows and it's grass. It does, it's not a tree. It doesn't pretend to be a tree. I continue. The grass was created and exists to be grass. God or the universe or whatever created grass to be grass. Not to be grass and a tree and a bush or to pretend to be a tree. No. Grass was created and exists to be grass. Likewise, this is what I wrote, I, and I'm using myself, you can apply this to your life. I, Chris and Eddie, was created and exist to fly. And if I focus on flight, I should do well at flying. And not waste my precious time focused on less important things. That's what I wrote. Let me read it one more time. The grass focuses on being grass and does well at being grass and does not try to be grass and a tree. The grass was created and exists to be grass. Likewise, I, Chris Zanetti, was created and exist to fly. And if I focus on flight, I should do well at flying and not waste my precious time focused on less important things. Like I said, yesterday I was thinking about life and I wrote this down and, you know, I thought it's important to share this with you guys because you can apply it to your own life. I believe I was put here on Earth to fly. It's my mission. Yes, I might do some other things, like in between, whatever. But my main goal and mission, I was created. You know, I, I'm not here by accident. I've be, been, like, planted like a seed on planet Earth to become a flying human being to show other humans what's possible, to be that person that's able to demonstrate, physically demonstrate to the world, the flight is entirely possible and that it's easy for humans to do, okay? And flight opens up, it opens up the planet, okay? To total freedom. Humans are no longer dependent on cars, on buses, on trains, on bikes, on uh, airplanes, we're, we're totally independent. We can fly to any place on the planet that we choose to, and it's free. We're not controlled by any outside entities. If we want to go somewhere, we go and we fly. And the reason that I'm talking about this is because, you know, I've been, I've got another YouTube channel. Uh, you might, you probably know, some of you might know, it is about ninjutsu, you know, martial arts, um, ninja techniques and weapons and things like that, training with weapons, swords. And, you know, it's one of my passions. Since a teenager, it's something I love to do. Just training to, to improve my skills as a ninja in ninjutsu. But, you know, I've been thinking, is that the best use of my time, of my energy? When I know that my mission on Earth is to fly, you know, am I, I got that YouTube channel about ninja training. Is it wise of me to continue that channel, to, to put my energy into that? When I know 100%, that even though I'm passionate about it, I, I love it, you know, when I know I'm supposed to become this superhuman, this demigod that can fly, I don't think it's the best use of my time to put my energy into that YouTube channel. 
Now this YouTube channel, the one that you're watching now and hopefully you're subscribed to, yes, this is important for me. This is vitally important for me to get my information out to you guys and to the world and to expand the consciousness of the human species and to show the world the potential and the possibilities in, in terms of supernatural powers. When I think about it in clear-cut terms, where, you know, I was thinking about the grass. The grass was created to be grass, and there's nothing else. I, Chris and Eddie, was created to fly, and there should be nothing else. You know, until I've achieved that goal, there should be nothing else. Of course there will be, because I'm not, my mind is not like totally laser focused like, like a monk. I'm not living life like a monk. I live a normal life. I've got a house. You know, I've got a wife. I've got pets. I've got responsibilities. I've got other things that give me happiness in life. But, you know, some things I have to let go of. You know, more and more I've been hearing about you have to let go. When you know that you're on the right path and getting closer to your goal, um, I was listening to a Shaolin monk speaking about this. I think it was Shaolin, a Chinese monk. Uh, he was saying something like, you know, when you know you're on the right path and you know you're getting closer to your goal in life, the reason you know is because you feel lighter. You feel like you've given up a lot of things you've sacrificed you, and you just feel like uh, lighter. There's less burdens of life weighing you down, less responsibilities maybe. So I just wanted to make this video talking about that. And, you know, in my life, for me, it's flying. I have to and I will achieve my goal of flight. I was created to fly. There's no other way I can say it. And maybe you were created to do something else. Or maybe you want to fly. And you believe that's your mission on Earth. Or maybe you believe you, you, you're going to be this, like, a uh, airbender or, you know, amazing skills in aerokinesis, being able to control the wind. Or maybe, you know, it's a different supernatural ability, maybe telepathy, or something entirely different. Maybe your mission is to become, like, be a great writer, or an artist, a filmmaker, or whatever. But all I know is that grass was created to be grass, and I was created to fly. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I know this is quite deep, um, and it's also an interesting topic. Let me know if you know for sure, 100%, what you were created for, what your mission on this earth is. Tell me, I want to know. Leave a, a message in the comments. Let us all know what is your mission on this planet. The grass is the grass, and the grass was created to be grass and to grow as grass. What is your mission on this planet? What were you created to, to be and to do on this earth? Tell me, I want to know. So this has been Chris and Eddie signing out from my beautiful home in Thailand, bright sunshine up there. And I'll uh, talk to you again very soon.